let me talk to you about how to gain marketplace insights. Now, there are a number of things to think about. We talked about thinking, feeling, and so on. With respect to thinking, it's very important to make these interviews, these conversations, very simple and straightforward. It's important to show people things rather than give them something abstract to think about. Let us say you ask people to imagine a nutritional powder that can be added to foods and so on. That is difficult. It is very abstract. It's hypothetical. So it's important to think about how they will perceive your questions rather than assume any level of literacy. Use simple language, concrete examples. Show people things when you can. These are some of the things to keep in mind. Avoid abstractions. I think a good question is to ask them about their most recent trip to the grocery store. Otherwise, it becomes too general. Ask them about how you buy usually and so on, and that helps them to keep things concrete. The interviewee, the participant, is the expert. And it's very important to acknowledge that, not just in a literal sense, it's really in how we conduct ourselves. I don't think there is anything more important than all of this, no matter what big words we use, than having a sincere conversation where we want to learn about somebody's life story. That's the fundamental goal. And anything that can be done to reduce the status difference is going to be uh, critical in this conversation. So have a sincere conversation, genuinely wanting to learn about people. If you go in there saying, here's what I'll get out of it, I don't think that's the right attitude. You don't know what you will get out of it. But if you engage in that sincere conversation where you treat the other person as a human being whose life is rich, even if they are poor, I think you're going to learn more, you're going to connect more, and it's really going to be a win in all different ways as well. My entire research program is based on the generosity of people at the bottom of society. I've had women tell me that I'm only sharing this grief with you. I shared it with God, and I'm only sharing it with you. It's their generosity that we are trying to give voice to through our program as well. Excuse me. In terms of the researcher, it's so important to immerse in the context and have this mindset of mutual learning. Unlearn is more important than learn. First, you have to unlearn, and then you can learn. And I think it's so important to go in with that kind of a mindset to immerse and really understand what's going on. See what the dots are before you can connect them is one way to think about our bottom-up approach as well. So what are some things to keep in mind? Well, what you see is what you get. So people don't have the pretensions or the luxury of pretensions. You know, it's just not something that is top of mind for people. And so what you see is what you get. So it's very important to be yourself, be authentic, be genuine. That is very important as well. I think it's important to start with broad questions. Where do you shop? What are some places you shop at? What are some reasons you go to those places? What are some things you buy? How do you go about buying these things? How do you buy cereal? How do you buy bread? And then what do you look for when you buy bread? And then people may say, I buy the cheapest. And then we ask, what if you had a loaf that is twice as big and only one and a half times the price? You notice how I'm trying to focus in after asking broader questions. If I ask the narrow question first, I would already have narrowed down the conversation. And frankly, depending on how the conversation goes, that question may not even be needed. So this kind of work is like throwing a ball at an uneven surface because you have no idea which direction it's going to go. Similarly, you have no idea what direction somebody's story is going to go. So let them tell you their story. That's one of the fundamental things I would say about gaining insights in subsistence marketplaces. Start broadly and then narrow down, depending on the conversation. One other thing to note is to avoid changing topics constantly. I think if you have something chronological that helps, ask about the past, the present, and the future. Changing topics back and forth is not very helpful, but sometimes it has to happen as well. There is a lot to be learned, and it's very exciting to be able to do these interviews. We use virtual interviews across the world, and it is amazing because you're learning from somebody very different from you, not only culturally, but socioeconomically as well. I think if you have something chronological that helps, ask about the past, the present, and the future. I think changing topics back and forth is not very helpful, but sometimes it has to happen as well. 
there is a lot to be learned and it's very exciting to be able to do these interviews. We use virtual interviews across the world and it is amazing because you're learning from somebody very different from you, not only culturally, but socioeconomically as well.